Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I'm actually gonna be making this little guy. I've never seen his movies. Um, all I know is it's going in a girl's bedroom and I have some ideas. I liked this file because um, with this it clown, a lot of the images that I saw was just his face. And I like this because it has that little neck piece as well as the balloon, which means I can start to make this a little bit bigger because if it was just his face and his face is white, um, I wouldn't have been able to make it that big without a seam in his face. I, um, I cheated. I looked at this file a little bit earlier because I am making it for someone. Um, she was hoping to get it to 30 inches. So I had a couple options. Uh, one is... I wanted to know where this was going because I was thinking I could do if the white, if this was going to be a big problem and to make it really big, maybe I could do um, white vinyl um, just as a backup, right? Uh, or you could do HTV, which I prefer HTV over vinyl for some reason because I feel like with the vinyl transferring it, the, so many so many places for errors right like everything needs to be placed perfectly otherwise you're going to try to pick it up and it's sticky and then it's not sticky but with hTV you can lay it down and iron it on and then i thought oh my gosh do i have any glow in the dark hTV so this is going in the girl's bedroom so at night with the lights off and she comes in with her cell phone there, there could be a face that's glowing in the dark right so anyway that, that those are the, the kind of things that i was thinking of um, so let's, I just wanted to show you where on Etsy I bought this file. Let's go into design space. So in design space, I know I took a peek at this and I think I was able to make it like 29 inches. I want to make it, oh, I mean, obviously I can make it bigger if I was using HTV because I buy HTV on the roll. So, you know, his face is slender. So as long as the face is no more than 11 and a half inches wide, I can go, you know, up to 23 and a half inches for his face, right? But I want to make sure that um, that the face in both HTV and in cardstock, I'm going to do both because I, I just want to try it out for, for us, right? Other than besides this going to a customer, I also want to know what I can and can't do. So I want to make sure that if the HTV doesn't work, that all the other pieces will work with my cardstock. So I wanna give both options. And if she doesn't like the HTV, we can always put the, you know, the cardstock on top of it. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna change this height to 29 inches. I wanna make sure that I just don't have any issues with this because I'm trying to make it interchangeable, both the HTV and the white paper. So at 29 inches, let's look at the face and see what we have. So where is the face? Oh, here's the face. Um, so let's ungroup it. <clears throat> and where's my face? Okay, so here's my face. I'm gonna ungroup the face. So this is gonna be easy. Everything's already ungrouped for us. Um, all right, so let's go and look at that face. Where are you? Okay. Um, okay, so the face is nine and a half inches by 14.63. Do I remember it being that big? Hold on. So let's rotate this, this face, right? Cause it's kind of narrow. It has some room. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Let's see. So we're going to try to change this and okay. Yes. So this is 11.2 by 11.775. It can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So you notice how first you have to unlock it. So many moons ago, before they made the updates, as long as you twisted your file, it would give you new dimensions. And the way they measure width, for example, is the most left to the most right. So even though I didn't change this piece by shrinking it or making it bigger, I'm rotating it. It went from what, nine inches by 14 something to now 11.2 by 11.7. So it's always measuring the most left to the most right. And what's the distance between that? So the distance between the most left and the most right is 11.2. And then the 
the highest point to the lowest point, the distance between those two points is 11.7. Now, this will, design space will still make it seem like you need a 12 by 24 mat or a bigger than 12 by 12 mat. You need bigger than 12 by 12 paper, but you don't, right? Because you can use the 12 by 12 cardstock and it will cut this perfectly. So I am in love with this piece right now. Let's look at everything else. So here's the red. Let's ungroup it. And let's check our balloon. Our balloon, oh no, our balloon is too big. Hold on. Because it's round, there's nothing that we can do about this balloon. And to be honest with you, I really don't wanna slice the balloon either. There's only so, so many things to this piece. Um, shoot, so let's do this. Let's upload a brand new one because I already took it all out. So let's, I'm gonna delete everything previously. I wanna make sure we're gonna make this a little bit smaller because this balloon is like up front and center the seam, no matter where I slice it, it's too much. It's going to be really, really obvious. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. So let's, just when I thought everything was so good, <laughs> let's delete that. Oh, what just happened? What? Okay, here he is. Okay, this is crazy. Let me grab all this. Are you seeing this? It's like I grabbed everything. Okay, that's so weird. Let me go to my canvas real quick and make sure what my settings is. So Design Space recently, okay, so I am in Classic. They recently had some updates this past week. Every time they do that, they, they fix something, but they break something else that I use. So I like to go back to classic. Earlier, I could not weld for the life of me. So I'm gonna keep this here. Let's upload again. Man, I really didn't think I was gonna have a problem with the balloon. Okay, so that was at 29 inches. Let's make this, I might have to go to 27 inches. Let's look at 27 inches. And ungroup everything. So now we know the face is gonna be perfectly fine. So at 27 inches, is this ungrouped yet? No, there. 11.5 by 11.7. It's still a little bit too big. It's, will it let me cut? No, because I was just gonna say, I mean, technically it can cut, right? Because it would fit on my 12 by 12 mat and cardstock but design space in order to to kind of like trick the system one of your dimensions still has to be max 11.5 so if i could get this to 11.5 this could go all the way up to 12 technically and it would still cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock but this is still too big darn it okay so this is at 27 let's make it 26 and a half and see if that changed it enough Yes, so at 26 and a half inches, so let me save this. It clown, 26.5 inches. And I always do this because um, if the project goes wrong, I can always recreate this at 26 and a half inches. So I just wanna remember how I did it and what needs to be done. So, all right, now that we have that, let's check out the face and see how big the face is now. Um, so here, I'm gonna click ungroup. And let's go see my face. Yeah, now the face is 8.7 by 13. We rotate it, it's definitely gonna fit, no problems there. Okay, so I think everything is gonna be good on this now. So let's ungroup. Okay, now what's going on with this piece? So these are all individual pieces, which I am not loving, so I'm trying to look at it to see where all the individual pieces are. Oh, I see. That is a lot of pieces, but there's kind of nothing that we can do because, um, I 
can connect them a little bit. I think we're gonna have to do that because I feel like it's gonna take so long to put these individual pieces in. I mean, this big piece right here is all good, but these little ones, why are there so many little ones? Um, what do I wanna do? I don't wanna lose, okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just try to weld where we can. So I'm gonna zoom in so that we can see this really well. So like, I'm gonna try to weld this right here. So let's see, is this ungrouped yet? No, it's not ungrouped, perfect. All right, so let's, sorry. We're gonna zoom back out for a second. I don't want any of these other pieces, so. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, this is what I want. So we're gonna zoom in to look at that. Um, everything else should be good. Let's just move all of our colored pieces so that we know what we have. That looks good. Is those white pieces, yep. everything else let's see our orange is in two pieces so that's fine this is one nice fist right so uh, for the most part this looks pretty easy to do it's just this ruffled piece that has so many pieces so let's zoom in and make this a lot easier for ourselves okay so this piece right here is one piece, so that's great. So I think I would wanna, yeah, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's bring in a circle. And you see how these are two separate pieces? Let's not do that. Well, let's see how big this, this whole thing is. 17 by 9.6, okay, so it does need to be split in half because it's kind of long. So let's do this, let's unlock this circle, make it really, really small. Cause we don't want to lose all the details. I like the details of the ruffled collar, but let's do something like this. Okay, so that's gonna connect these two. I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. Okay, so instead of having two pieces here, it's gonna become one. So let me show you what that looks like. See, you're not gonna notice, right, that that was supposed to be two pieces. It would just look like, I don't know, why, why is this one piece all connected, right? So now these two pieces will be connected. In fact, I'm gonna connect it to this one as well. So let's bring in a circle. And probably what I should have done, now that I think about it, hold on. We should have ungrouped this first because then you're gonna slice it later because we welded it everything. So let's undo this for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna ungroup it. Okay, so now we're gonna grab these two pieces right here and weld because this piece by itself is 8.6 by 6.9, so we're gonna leave it as, as is. And then we're going to add another circle and connect these two. So this top, this top layer, instead of it being um, four pieces, it's two pieces. And it's just gonna help us um, keep everything where it should be. Like it's gonna lay down really easily and we don't have to worry about the distance between those pieces. All right, so we're gonna grab that and weld. So see, those three pieces look good, right? Um, okay, what other pieces can we make? I would wanna make these two connected. So let's bring in another circle. And I would wanna make these two connected. So unlock, and we're going to move it over. Now, 
Now on this one, it almost seems like if it matched the length of this piece, it would probably look a little bit more natural like that. Maybe even a little bit fatter. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna grab these pieces and weld. Okay. Ugh, all right, let me undo that. Um, I picked up too many pieces, but it's not a big deal. We can leave them welded together. Um, trying to see, I definitely wanna weld these two pieces together. And make it skinnier. Okay, like that. Um, okay. Oh no, I welded the wrong piece. <laughs> Sorry. Let me undo that. Let's move some pieces out of the way. So we've got this piece that we're not going to mess with, right? Let me put that back. Yeah, we won't mess with this one. We still wanna make it look good, just a little bit easier on us. All right, so this piece, like that. There we go. I'm gonna weld that together. Okay, so this piece is done. These two little pieces, I'm okay. I mean, we don't have to do everything. This one's really big. So that leaves this over here. Um, let me see how many pieces we have. Okay, that's a little bit more manageable, right? Like now we know where everything goes. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. So let's exit out of, or zoom back out. Okay, so all of this is good. Let me bring up the image again so I could see what it looks like. Okay, so the black outline, when I bring it in, this is another um, good best practice, is if you flatten the one that comes in, and you wanna flatten it because look at, now you have so many more pieces again, and you don't wanna confuse those pieces. So I'm just gonna grab this guy where is my new guy? I'll grab him from here. So this is the new one. We're gonna flatten. So it's gonna take all these pieces and it's literally gonna flatten to one image. It's now gonna be a print and cut. We're not gonna print it and we're not gonna cut it, but it just gives us a visual of what the piece looks like, you know, because we've kind of dismantled this whole thing. Um, gosh, design space is acting crazy right now. Look, I'm clicking this, but it's the hair that's being, I don't know what to make of it. Here's my print and cut. And hopefully that's all that it's, I can't even move it. It's crazy right now. Um, okay. Slowly moving. Uh, I mean, it's not that big of a file. Okay. I'm actually going to delete that piece. Okay. And I don't know why. Okay. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> okay. So, oh my gosh, I can't even... It's crazy right now. It's not letting me do anything. So I'm gonna end it here, but I hope that was helpful for, for you. I apologize that we can't finish slicing it, but it's just the background, which I've done many, many times uh, with my other characters. So you can always catch it on that one. And um, let me know what you think. If you like the ideas of using HTV, Glow in the Dark HTV, um, if you wanna see other characters, Hit me up in the comments. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.